Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. You may have seen this amazing rock outcrop before. It is known as the Lady of Mali and it is located at 1500 meters altitude on Mount Laura in Guinea, West Africa. The official interpretation is that this is an artifact of nature, wind eroded over many hundreds of thousands of years to create the illusion of a human figure. The so called head is 25 meters tall, with the entire sculpture being around 150 meters top to bottom. It is visible both close up and from afar, and was a fortuitous discovery by geologist Angelo Pittoni in the late 20th century. It is located north of the city of Conakry and close to the country's border with Mali. Even though he was a geologist, Pittoni was an alternative thinker and believed that this carving was man made, and he estimated it to be between 12,000 and 20,000 years old. He also said there was a cave close by that contained ancient mummies. He claimed that local people protected these mummies because they were the ancient ancestors of the region, but I'm struggling to find out any more information about them. He also claims to have analysed the soil below the cliff face, and that is how he got the date range of 12 to 20,000 years old for the sculpted mountain. Again, I can't find any raw data to back up his claims. He also said that to the south of Guinea, there was a mysterious rock mineral in the Sierra Leone diamond fields that resembles pure turquoise, but he also said that it was different to any other mineral that he had ever seen before. Pitoni apparently purchased some samples of the mineral, which he called the Sky Stone, from a fuller chief in Sierra Leone. According to ancientcode.com, the local tribe claimed the stone came from the sky. Apparently tests showed that its composition was 77% oxygen, 20% carbon and calcium, and there was also an unknown organic compound with silica and trace elements. It also couldn't be broken down by applying heat or acid. In the 21st century, samples were apparently retested at GRS Swiss Labs by a Dr. Preeti, and I've read that the results came back to say its composition was unidentifiable. So, parts of Western Africa do look to be shrouded in mystery, but what do you think of the Lady of Mali? Does it look natural or man-made? Well, you can't deny its human features, it even looks as though it's wearing a crown, but whether it is natural or man-made, we can really only guess. If it is man-made, how could it have been created? I have read that the rock type is granite, which of course is extremely hard to sculpt, unless of course you're a master stonemason. On top of that, it is also carved onto a sheer cliff face, which of course is incredibly difficult to access. We can clearly make out a human face, upper body, belt and legs, but on the other hand, we do know that nature can produce wondrous structures and sculptures all by itself. So, what do I think? Well, as much as I want this to be man-made, the burden of proof is on those that think it is. As we know, nature can make some truly marvellous structures that do look like the work of humans, but they're not. So, we'd need some hard evidence for the case of the Lady of Mali. Are there tool marks on the granite? What do the locals say? Are there any legends and stories attached to it? We also need to know why every photograph of the lady is from this angle. What does it look like from the front and the other side? I prefer to be on the cautious side of the argument, because there is little evidence in the public domain that says that this is man-made. Geologists believe that it is a natural wind-eroded rock face, and to doubt this interpretation does require evidence. Today, this outcrop is a tourist destination for adventure seekers and for those interested in ancient civilizations. but it may well just be a natural wonder. Angelo Pittoni died in 2009, and to my knowledge, no substantial research has been undertaken by anyone else since, and until new investigations have taken place, we really don't have a lot more to go on. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below.
Thank you very much.